Well, I think your your childhood sort of sets you sets you up and 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 really ingrains so many ways of thinking and ways of being. So I think it it, it played a huge role. I mean, as a kid, I had never ever thought about leaving Zimbabwe. Um, it wasn't wasn't something that I thought I'd ever do. Um, I was a obsessed Springbok supporter. Um, just just loved them. Um, what were your What were your early memories of the Springboks? What, what was your Who did you grow up watching? The '95 um, World Cup is kind of my first memories of watching rugby, and just how I don't know momentous it was. From then, it was kind of that that became my sort of almost my goal and my drive was I was going to I was going to be there one day. Um, I was going to be at a World Cup. I was going to be winning a World Cup final. I became pretty like determined and, and obsessed about it from a from a young age. Um, you see, in the in the late nineties, uh, early two thousands, things politically became pretty unstable in Zimbabwe. Yeah, they ended up being a sort of a big uh, land reform pro- program where you know a bunch of um, white and and black farmers got kicked off. Um, kicked off their farms and uh, we were one of them and, and were pretty lucky in that my mum was a was a qualified teacher so could move to move to Australia on her qualifications um, that seems to gloss over a, a sort of a little bit of, of the um, of the story really I mean hmm. what do you remember of that time and the upheaval and the challenges and what you had to go through pretty confusing as a as a kid um, Growing up How loving, uh, I was 14 when we left. I was probably 11, 11 or 12 when things started to um, sort of get a bit dicey. Um, yeah, you, you know, loving a country and then seeing your president on TV kind of saying, you know, white people are uh, the source of all our troubles. They need to leave, uh, all this kind of stuff. And then... We had a, a couple of um, a couple of farmers in our uh, in our sort of farming district were killed, um, and yeah, I guess it, it it does it does rattle you as a as a kid um, being confronted with with that stuff. I remember going to um, one of these sort of family friends of ours were um, the father and son were ambushed um, one night, and the the dad um was shot and killed and the son managed to uh, manage to survive but as a kid like putting our fingers they were in their um like ute in their truck putting our fingers through like all these bullet holes in the side of the car um yeah thinking back just pretty pretty bizarre um so that that certainly that certainly shaped i guess my my early years and, and arriving in australia i had a real I guess it was almost a sense of guilt. Like a lot of most of my classmates I'd left in Zimbabwe didn't have the opportunity to move to Australia. Things were were still pretty bad. Um, And I guess I just used rugby as my outlet and and way to deal with all the change and upheaval and trying to process all the stuff that that had happened. Um, So yeah, it, it very much became my escape and i'm pretty i'm pretty grateful for it like it, it it was it was how i made friends it was it was kind of uh uh my real focus through through school